I'm going to be checking this out for a little bit of accuracy. Uh, got the Howling Raven muzzle brake on there to knock down on the recoil. What that doesn't handle, I've got the Mighty Limb Saver. And I have also the Mojo Snap Sights. Quite a simple design, but it's good to test the time. 37 million plus have been made of these. And there was a sniper by the name of Simo Heha. I'm sure I'm mangling that pronunciation, but he was accredited with shooting between 255 and 505 uh, confirmed kills depending on who you talk to. Uh, if you talk to his commanding officer, it was somewhere in the area of 250, but other accounts state that he potentially could have shot up to 505 people. Uh, in 1940, his luck caught up with him. He ended up getting shot in the face with what they called a uh, explosive round, which you wouldn't really need this to be explosive. If you hit somebody in the face with one of these either way, it would do a lot of damage, but it basically uh, Witnesses at the time recounted that he lost half of his face. Now, you think that would have been enough to kill this guy. He uh, was a very innovative sniper, very, very uh, particular in his methods. He would make a, a snow mound uh, so that you couldn't see his signature of his shot being fired. He also would put snow in his mouth so that you couldn't see him exhale his breath. And even before he got into the military, he was a marksman, so he... Went in, did his tour, killed between 250 and 505 people. His career ended as a sniper when he was shot in the face. But then he lived another 60 years after that, and he continued to be a moose hunter and a variety of other things, which I found to be quite uh, interesting about the guy. During his, his stint in the war, he was referred to and feared by all as the White Death. And this guy, uh, just the thought of having a sniper out there with the capabilities of, of uh, the White Death, I'm sure it really put a lot of fear into its enemy. Simo Haiha was able to hit a target at 500 feet, uh, which is 165 yards, 16 times with the Mosin Nagant, which is pretty extraordinary if you think about it. I don't think he was using a speed loader either. Um, this target is 20 by 30, 20 inches wide, 30 high. And the closest thing that we have for a known distance here at Vernon is 200 yards. Okay, so 500 feet is 165 yards. Uh, we're going to be going to 200 yards or 220 arshans to see whether or not we can duplicate uh, CMOS feet because it seems like it's a very, very difficult thing to do. I've never tried it before, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see the results. Let's go from a full mag. I think I'm going to need that. <laughs> I don't think we can go plus one either. So I'm going to fire, reload five and fire again, reload five, and then hit it with the one. And uh, should be interesting. I'd like to hit the target every time, but there's a balance between speed and accuracy, isn't there? So uh, here's round one. Shooter ready, ready, beep.
technique. that old gun. Let's call that one the cider. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 